Hi everyone. In this short tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use Blender to model horns for characters. We're going to make two different styles of horn to add to this guy. To model the horns, I use a path, which I can edit in edit mode. And then I define the shape of the path with a bezier circle. Here you can see in edit mode, I'm moving around the curve. And now I'm adding the bezier circle, which will allow me to control the cross-sectional shape of the horn. So under the curve settings, apply the bezier circle as the object under the geometry tab, and that will define the shape. And then I can select vertices on the path and scale with Alt S. And I can also edit the Bezier circle to change how the shape looks on the horn as well. Now I've hidden that. I'm going to add the other side, which I'm going to make to be like a um, ram horn. Doing the same thing, adding a path and editing in edit mode. You can push and pull the vertices around like any other mesh. And then adding another bezier circle to define the shape. The next step is to place the base of the horns so that they interact properly with the head, which we'll see more of in a minute. And here I'm just moving and scaling the vertices on the path to make it look how I want. So now back on the first horn, which is going to be a deer horn. Um, to add the spikes, I add new paths. And for this one, I just use one. And then I use the Bezier circle from the um, main part of the horn on that side. And then I just duplicate the spikes throughout the rest of the horn. And then since they're duplicated, I can shape them independently of each other. So here I'm shaping and scaling each one of the spikes. If you find my video helpful, please consider subscribing. I would love to continue to learn with you. To combine the spikes to the antler, I use a Boolean modifier on the antler and I union each spike individually to the horn. This creates a copy of each spike, which I will save in a separate collection um, just in case I need them later. but now it's all one object. So once they're all combined, I enter sculpt mode and I use dynamic topology with a constant detail setting that's pretty high so that I get a whole lot of points. And then I just use sculpting tools to smooth out all of the connections and add thickness where I want to. So that looks pretty cool for now. You can obviously add a whole lot more detail to this, but I will handle a lot of that in a future step where I do more texturing and more color. So now to combine the head to the horn, it's very important to make sure that you have only one smooth seam between the objects before you can use a Boolean modifier. And that's what I'm doing here is uh, sculpting the head so that it creates just one line around the horn where they combine. And it should look like that, where there's just kind of one rough seam. And then I can add some detail and smooth it out so that it looks good. And then here I'm just adding some uh, basic larger sculpting to make some roughness at the base. And without new textures, here is what it looks like. And like I said, in the future, I will come back and add some texture to this. 
But that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Please hit all those magic YouTube buttons for me. And if you have a question, let me know in the comments. I love to interact with my viewers.